Hi everyone, this video will be in English. I will create a parametric family that allows me to automatically cut open our ceiling and put a recessed ceiling on my project ceiling. But the family will create the border of the recessed ceiling. The top ceiling still have to be created in the project so we can put our light fixture based on the project ceiling plan. I will use this detail section as a guide and as what you see this recess ceiling family object comes with a hidden strip light this will make it beautiful to render I will split this tutorial into two different videos part one is for the recessed ceiling object creation and part two is for the strip light creation With this parametric family, we can adjust the side offset, the height, and also the other parameter dimensions by type or by instance. But this family works only for rectangular shaped recessed ceiling when we view it on the floor plan view. I hope you can live with that. Now let's do the family. Now I'm on this project file. Let's set the unit to centimeters. Let's set the floor, walls, and ceilings. I will put the ceiling at uh, 270 centimeters height. We can't see the ceiling on floor plan now, so let's move to ceiling plan. Or maybe 3D view. Walls are too high. Let's stop it at level 2. Now open a new family and choose generic model ceiling base. Now type UN to set the project units to metric. Now let's create the framework and dimensions to create an opening on the ceiling. Click this dimension and give a parameter label and set it to uh, instance and give it a name name this one length click ok and do the same thing here on this side give a label parameter set it to instance and name it width don't forget to save it I'm going to name it recessed ceiling. This will be our uh, Revit family file. Now let's create an opening. Don't forget to lock it. Now let's load it to our project just to check if it's working. If it doesn't load automatically, let's find it under project browser and under families generic models then click and drag to the ceiling now move it around to get the right location use the arrow grip to adjust the size and the distance from the wall surface Now we can also double click on this to edit the family. And let's add some more stuff to the family. We still have to uh, make the border around the recess ceiling plan to fill in the gaps between the ceiling heights. Now let's create the framework from the front elevation. Create the reference planes and using the guide 
the detail section this is about a hundred millimeters this one is, is 300 millimeters let's give this a parameter I'm gonna give this as a type parameters and give it a name and for this one let's give it a as an instance since the gap between ceilings might be different this one is the site offset let's do it from the plan view create reference plane for four sites offset at 150 and give dimensions for all of them now select all of them and uh, give a label parameter as a type parameters I'm going to name it site offset To create the border around the recess ceiling, we will use Sweep tool. Under Create tab, click Sweep. We already on the right view, which is Ceiling Plan Reference Level View. On this plan view, we can start to create the path. Choose the work plane. <coughs> now let's create the path. Don't forget to lock it. Let's see in 3D view. click OK now let's create the profile I want to draw the profile on the front elevation but sadly the work plan is not there I suppose to start on the left side or the the right side to get the work plan on the front side so I'm going to redo the path and uh, let me start from the left side now so I'm going to start from the left side now once the path done uh, let's select the profile edit profile and choose front elevation now we have the work plane here now we can start to draw the uh, the profile of the border I'm going to give uh, about 10 millimeters for the thickness. Let's click OK. Let's see in the 3D view. It looks good. Let's load it to the project. This doesn't look right. Our ceiling is too thick. Let's change our ceiling to other type that has less thickness. Now it looks good, just the way I want it. Now let's go to plan view and create a section. We can adjust the height since this dimension is an instance parameter. We can just ad adjust the height graphically like this. Mm, 
Now let's go to plan view and put camera just to see how it looks. Something missing now. Now we have to make the top ceiling. I cannot make the top ceiling as part of the family object since it will be a problem if later on we want to put light fixtures. So it has to be done on the project file. On the ceiling plan, we can change the visual style to wireframe so we can see the top part of the family object, which is uh, the outermost lines. Pick that lines to create the ceiling boundary. Make sure we have the right ceiling type. This one is too thick. I will change it to the other one. And don't forget to set the height to at 300. Okay, next step is to create hidden strip light behind the ceiling. We will make the strip light as part of the object family. This next step will be done in the next video. See you then. Bye now.